Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the relative propagation delay match group functionality inside the Cadence PCB tools. So there's a couple of different options for the match groups. So what I would recommend to start off is if you go to um, to the web page, so parallel-systems.co.uk, or you can use orcad.co.uk. Um, along the top, we've got this guides link. This takes us to some user guides, which are really useful. If we look at uh, PCB20, there's a match groups user guide, which kind of talks you through the process of what a match group is, what you want to do, what the different options are for generating pin pairs based on all drivers, receivers, longest driver. There's two different sorts of match group. There's a match delay where you just specify a tolerance. You only you don't specify a delta value. And they're, uh, they're compared against each other, but there's no specific target value. Or you can use a relative delay where you effectively drive a delta value and a tolerance value. Um, and this will give you a target, so the, usually the longest routed member, and then everything else will be matched to that within a certain tolerance. You obviously can choose different your own your own targets if you want, and there are scenarios where obviously you might want a clock to be a target value, um, but you have to make sure you've got you have to have enough length to the other ones, because um, you can only add delay, you can't remove length from from a track. So, so once you've had a look at that app note, and I, I would recommend having a look at this, it does go through all the different options for you and what you need to do. Um, we'll actually go back to our design, so we'll go to the board, and I've got a few examples. So I've got seven nets here, a byte lane effectively, and I want to match these um, all within a certain uh, tolerance. So these are just single pairs, so it's just a pin pair per net, just as an example. Um, I will show you creating pin pairs in another example. So we'll launch Constraint Manager, set up constraints. We'll go to the electrical workbook net routing relative propagation delay here's a lift of my net so i'm literally just going to shift select these seven nets right mouse button create a match group uh, let's give it a name byte lane zero so i then get them made automatically so it makes my match group uh, based on a delta and a tolerance value so i'm going to specify this as uh, i haven't got a delta value but i want a zero because i want a target value and then we'll do 2.54 millimeters. So they all need to match within two and a half, plus or minus two and a half millimeters, basically. So it sets the target based on the longest routed member. If you're not getting this option here, what I would suggest is go to analyze, analysis modes, look at the electrical options and make sure that your relative propagation delay is turned on. And you can have these as an unrooted if you turn on the minimum propagation delay and relative propagation delay for DRC unrooted. So once we've got um, the rule set, we then go back to PCB editor. I get some DRC markers so I can then add delay. So uh, if we just go into edge edit mode, I can hover over a trace, right mouse button, delay tune. Um, I get the different options in the options pane to add length here. So I can choose, um, we'll do accordions, but we'll do 45 degrees. And you'll see I get the heads up display in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And I can adjust that um, to whether I'm gonna meet the constraint or not. Red to green. As soon as it goes to green, I'm meeting the constraint. I click to confirm and the DRC errors go away. So we'll do that again here. So delay tune. Meeting the constraint, we're good to go. We'll do a delay tune on the differential pair. So it's gonna do both halves of the differential pair. If I needed to do one half, I could do a right mouse button single trace mode, but I don't in this scenario. Meeting the constraint, we're good to go. That's that one, the final one. So no more DRC errors. If we go back to Constraint Manager, you'll see all of these have gone green, which means we're, we're meeting the constraint and we can then move on. In the next example, uh, I'm gonna do a, a match delay. So I've got effectively a track coming to a, a virtual point, a T point, uh, two ICs. Now these two halves, I want them to match. Um, but we'll do it with a match delay rather than a target value. So if we locate the net in the in the relative propagation delay worksheet, right mouse button, create pin pairs first. So if it's, I want to go from my T point to U17 and apply, and then I want to go from the T point to U18 and OK. So this makes my two pin pair objects that I can then drag select, right mouse button, create match group. Let's just call this one Steve. So here I want these to match within, um, let's just do uh, 
no delta value, so we'll just do a, a colon, and I want them to match within 2.54 millimeters. So you'll see they both match, they're both meeting that, that constraint at the moment. But if we go back to, to the board and we do a delay tune, let's just say I had to add length to this half, you'll see I now get a DRC error. So I have to add the same amount of length to this half for it to meet the constraint. If I then go back to Constraint Manager, you'll see we're all green again. Okay, the final example here, I've got um, an address bus that runs from the connector to an FPGA to four memory devices and RM1. And I want to least a length match, but only from effectively the FPGA to the last memory device. So you can be very specific about how this is done. So we can, if we go to Constraint Manager, we find our address bus objects. We can actually do a right mouse button, create a pin pair. Let's end the command first. Into Constraint Manager. So right mouse button, create a pin pair. So I want to go from U10, sorry, uh, U5 to U10. And we'll hit OK. So that creates the first pin pair. We'll do the other th uh, th three nets. So U5 to U10. This warning, basically, what it says is that um, any pin pairs that aren't explicitly constrained will be removed when if you close Constraint Manager. So if I click OK here and I was to close Constraint Manager, I'd have to, I'd have to recreate these pin pairs if I hadn't uh, applied a constraint to it. You can disable that uh, warning if you want. And the final one. So once I've got that, I'm going to control select the four pin pairs, right mouse button, create a match group. Let's just leave the default name for this one. So let's set this to match. Uh, again, two and a half millimeters. So some are meeting, some aren't. I've got one that's not meeting it. So if we go to um, back to PCB editor, You'll see I get a DRC on the net that I'm, I need to meet. So one of them is meeting the constraint. So I need to add some delay. So I can use the delay tune command again. Um, now you'll notice if I try and add delay here, which is effectively between the connector and the IC, I don't get a heads up display. My DRC is not going to change because this isn't part of the constraint rule set. But if I do it this side, obviously I get a heads up display in the, in the bottom right hand corner. I can click to confirm and I'm now effectively meeting the constraint. Uh, and we're good to go. Let's go to straight manager and just check. So you can see all my match groups are now meeting. You can obviously select the design and do a right mouse button analyze, which will update the the, the analysis of each propagation delay rule uh, just to make sure that you are actually meeting all the constraints.